Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. Today we shall discuss how to download and install the Git for Windows. So then also the various basic terminal commands to be run over the Git. So first of all, open the Chrome and just uh, enter git for windows.org. So git for windows.org. So you can uh, see that this is the interface of the Git and the version of the Git which we are downloading is 2.29. So then uh, you need to click on download. So once the download is done, I have already uh, downloaded the file, so I shall directly show you the installation. So just uh, go to the files, downloaded files, and you can uh, check that the Git will be successfully downloaded. So here you can check this is the Git which I have downloaded. So double click on it. So it asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes to a device? So click S. Yes. So once that is done, so you have a general license which you need to accept it. So scroll down till the end and then click on next. So then uh, you can check that uh, along with the Git software, we have a Git bash as well as the Git graphical user interface and make sure that these both are checked and then uh, it asks additional icons. So just uh, click the additional icons on the desktop so that there is a icon which is displayed over the screen and uh, you can use it whenever you are working on it. Then next, then again next, next, again next, next. Next, again it asks for Git Credential Manager, so make sure that this is checked and then uh, click on Next, then Next. So once everything is done, so just click on Install. So once you click on Install, so your uh, Git software gets installed. So wait for a while, so until it completes its installation. So it's installing. Yeah, it's installing so you need to wait uh, till it completes its installation so once that is done we shall see how to run the basic commands over the terminal so that is a git terminal so and make sure that uh, your software is being installed in the c drive so where all the program files have been run in the c drive Guides add to complete here. Yeah. yeah, you can see now the icon has been displayed over the screen. Yes, so you can see that uh, so the git setup, the setup has been installed git on your computer and here now we have successfully installed the git. So make sure that you uncheck this, then click next. So once this is done, now we shall see how to uh, run the git terminal. So before uh, opening the git bash, you need to make sure that uh, you need to run it as an administrator. So run as an administrator, so again it asks do you want to allow this app to change, make changes to a device, so click S. Yes. So once that is done, uh, so you can uh, see that there is an interface which appears over the screen, uh, which is the Git terminal. So this is the Git terminal which looks like this. So our first step is to check uh, whether we have successfully installed the Git or no. So for that uh, we need to use a command git hyphen hyphen version. Then enter. So you can see that uh, the version of the git is 2.28 and which is the windows so if you are using uh, linux or ubuntu server so it displays the version as well as the uh, operating system which you are, which you are using so now we shall learn the basic commands so the first command is the ls so ls it is one of the common command and which is used for listing all the files so enter so you can see that all the files that have been present is been displayed 
so it takes some time in order to display huh? yes you can see that these are all the files which have been displayed so once that is done so suppose if you want to display the files in a long format so you can use ls is hyphen l so ls hyphen l it displays all the files but in the long format so you can think it is displayed in the long format with the date time as well as uh, the username as well as the permissions such as read and write permissions and uh, you can observe that there are certain hidden files also present so in order to display the hidden files also we are using the ls a it's a command which displays all the hidden files so now if you want to display the hidden files in the long format so the command is ls al so ls al it's a command which displays all the files in the long format and also the hidden files so some hidden files are also so all the hidden files are also displayed so next thing is if you want to check the directory which you are working so it's a pwd is a command which refers to present working directory so this displays the directory which you are in so you can see that the directory which we are in is the c uh, it's a c drive followed by the users as well as the name of the user that is the the name of the user so next uh, the cd is a command which is used for changing the directory so suppose if you if you cd space so uh, you can see there are two shortcut uh, keys that are uh, tilde as well as the hyphen so suppose cd space tilde so cd it is nothing but change directory sub, uh, space tilde so this goes to the home directory and also shows the file so it's cd space tilde press enter now it goes to the home directory so then suppose if you want to switch to the parent directory so you need to give cd space hyphen so cd space hyphen it goes to the previous directory so initially we were in this directory so you have checked by uh, by the command pwd it's the present working directory we were in this directory so with the help of a cd tilde then we went to the home directory now again cd hyphen space cd space hyphen so this command it again uh, switches to the previous directory which we were so then after that if you want to display all the files that are in the home directory we are going to use the command ls space tilde so this displays all the files in the home directory similarly ls space hyphen it displays uh, sorry so ls so ls space tilde so it displays all the files that are present in the home directory the next thing is uh, ls if you want to display the files that are present in the previous directory that is the previous directory that is parent directory so the command used is ls space dot dot so this displays all the files that are present in the parent directory so the next thing is that uh, suppose if you want to create a directory so mkdir is a command that is used for creating a new directory so mkdir followed by the name of the directory so you can give, give any name to the directory so i shall give it as program1 so now you can see that mkdir is the command which is used for making the directory followed by the name of the directory now ls is a command which is used for listing the directory which we have created the next thing is so you can see that the pgm1 that is a program1 is a directory which i have created so this is the directory which is uh, successfully created so next thing is that if you want to remove the directory so rm hyphen r followed by the name of the directory that is pgm1 enter so again ls to list to check whether the directory has been deleted or not so earlier you can see that uh, there was a directory so earlier there was a directory called pgm1 after rm hyphen r that is the rm is a remove command followed by hyphen r is a a directory so it removes the directory completely so here you can check there is no pgm1 directory because we have removed it so here the pgm directory has been successfully deleted now again if you want to create a directory so uh, now we shall create another directory with the help of a mkdir command so mkdir followed by suppose let us create a directory called uh, so uh, I shall create temp0 directory. So now ls so list it. So here you can uh, check that the temp0 is been created successfully. Now suppose if you want to create a directory within the another directory, the command is mkdir hyphen p followed by the name of the directory. So 
so now uh, we shall create another directory called uh, temp1 within the temp0 directory so temp1 so mkdir hyphen p it's a command which is used for creating a directory within the another directory so ls so here you can check so initially we have created a temp0 directory so then again we have created a temp1 directory within the another directory so within the temp0 directory we have created a temp1 directory so now we shall uh, see how to create a file within the directory so first uh, now initially we are in the parent directory so now we shall uh, switch from the parent directory to the parent directory to the temp temp1 directory or temp0 directory so the first uh, we have created temp0 directory so within the temp0 directory we have created a temp1 directory so the command used for changing the directory from one directory to another directory is cd commands followed by the name of the directory so the first directory which we have created is a temp0 so cd temp0 so now we are in a temp0 directory so now we shall create a files within the temp0 directory so the command used for, used for uh, creating a file is touch so touch is one of the command that is used for creating a file within the directory so touch followed by a.txt so you can create any type of file it can be a text file or a pdf file so first we shall uh, create a a.txt file then enter so once uh, it is created so let, let us see uh, by with the help of a ls command well so ls so you can see that uh, a.txt file has been created within the temp0 directory so next thing is that uh, we, are, we can also create a pdf file so now we shall create a pdf file with the help of a touch command so touch a.pdf so touch a.pdf enter so ls so earlier we were uh, we have created only one text file that is a.txt now we have successfully created a two files that is a.pdf and a.txt suppose if you want to remove the pdf file or a text file so rm is a command which is used for removing so rm followed by the name of the file that is a.pdf enter so ls so here we were having the two files now we have removed the a.pdf file so we have only one file which is remaining that is a.txt so a.txt now a.txt file is there so we can also remove the a.txt file with the help of a rm command so next thing is uh, suppose if you want to check whether the whether it is a file or a directory so the command used is ls hyphen p so ls hyphen p followed by enter so ls hyphen p followed by enter you can see that it's a text file so this file exists within the directory that is a temp0 directory so these are few of the basic commands so in this video we have learnt uh, how to check the directory with the help of a pwd it's a present working directory and which displays the directory we are in ls is one of the command which is used for listing all the files then uh, ls hyphen l it's a command which is used for displaying the files in the long format ls hyphen a is a command which is used to display the hidden files ls hyphen al it displays both the hidden files and also the files in the long format the next thing is that we learned the two shortcut uh, keywords that is the tilde as well as hyphen cd is a command which is used for switching from one directory to another directory so cd space tilde it goes to the home directory and then with the help of a ls uh, space tilde we can display the files that are present in the home directory similarly cd space hyphen it again uh, goes back to the previous directory in order to display the files in the parent directory we use ls space dot dot the next thing is uh, the command used for creating a directory is mkdir so mkdir followed by the name of the file is used to create the directory and next thing is uh, we can successfully remove the directory with the help of a rm hyphen r command followed by the name of the directory it completely removes the directory the next thing is that uh, suppose if you want to create a directory within another directory so mkdir space hyphen p followed by the name of the directory this command it successfully so this command it uh, creates a directory within the another directory so next thing is that uh, uh, we can also create a file within the directory so initially 
before creating we need to make sure that we are in the we are in the directory which we want to create a file so with the help of a cd command we need to switch to the uh, directory which we want to create a file so then uh, we need to create a file with the help of a touch command so touch followed by the name of the file we can create any file like it can be a text file or a pdf file so once that is successfully created with the help of a ls command we can check whether the file is successfully created or not then after that uh, we, if you want to remove the file which you have created so rm is a command which successfully removes the file from the directory so thank you friends for watching and please subscribe us so we shall learn uh, more basic commands in the next video and uh, thank you please subscribe us